Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Septericore. When you last left off, we were in the middle of the f mold forest. And I was like, well, as I need to run all the way back here from the mold forest through the caves, I'm going to do that myself. In your absence, I also bought went back to Shell 4, bought more bread. Buy a couple potions, because we are swimming in money. This is how much we have after buying that bread and three potions, and potions cost 3,000 each. And I also use the inn, so everybody is fully healed. But now I just want to look at these with grub before I actually do what I need to do. There's a bunch of hollowed out tubing going through the bones. They seem to be made to take on some liquid. Perhaps like the stuff in the Bioloom Lantern? Let's actually put get all of these guys up here. No sudden moves. I don't think they trust us. Well, let's make a sudden move by suddenly filling these things. really know what she was doing there. I think we proved to them we want to help. We're probably the only outlanders to ever try and communicate on their level. Maybe they'll let us pass now. Well, we can now actually get into Underlost Village. Now why we need to be here because nobody can speak our language, I'm not entirely sure. Greetings, Outlander. You speak our tongue? <laughs> Where are your villagers? Taken. Outlanders take a slave. The cure fate card. I like how I literally, literally just said that there's nobody here can speak our language. And they have... They have... The chieftain speaking our language. Granted, in... In a voice that I probably would have done. Greetings, Outlander! <laughs> Let's talk to him. Will your people ever trust the Outlanders from the Upper Shells? We trust you. Good start. Yes? <laughs> he almost sounds kind of like Yoda. <laughs> uh... I got nothing to say. Oh, come on, Grub. You were probably here years ago, during the war. Arms gone, but not gone. Mind your own business, you freak. Well, oh, jeez, Arrow. Don't push him away. Your town has very few structures. We leave old village behind many years ago. Stay here when Hell God attack old village. Claw of God still in old village. Where's that? In Mold Forest. You no go. Deep forest is poison to outlanders. Need helmets. You mean gas masks? So apparently their old village is in that place, that area that we couldn't actually go to because the air was unbreathable. So I'm guessing to help them get that little claw thing, whenever that occurs, we need to actually do that. And get gas masks. I don't, however, think that is for now. That is for later. The Chosen took your people, didn't they? Outlanders took many. You enemy. Of them? Yes. But we don't know how to find them. Our greatest warrior, help. Take you to them and bring back Underlost. Badu help you get to Outlander. Help you kill Outlander. Thank you. And now we have... One of the last characters in the game. Badu. Let's also ask, ask about the ruins. How does one pass the ruins in the Mold Forest? Cannot open unless Underlost help. As in we need Badu there in order to open it. So let us switch out Grub for Badu. We now have him with us. Let's see what they say. <laughs> I have given four of us no time. I have still a new start. 
<laughs> I have no idea what you guys said, but I agree, agree entirely. Badu does not actually speak any language besides Underlostian. I don't really know what to say there. But he speaks no under, other language besides the language of the Underlost. So if we were to talk to anybody with him, it's, it's kind of... not really... He'd just kind of do that and they'd say, what the hell are you talking about? But... This is Badu's stats. His speed is 47. Comparison, we have 68 and 7, 63 and 78 on everybody else. He is effectively a different kind of gr of runner in the fact that he has humongous power. His power without any upgraded items is 240. And speaking of items, remember how I said at some point in time we'd find someone who equipped skins and those knives and also claw ties? This is Badu. He is the only character that those can actually be equipped on. Now that we have Badu, let's go back to Shell 4 and quickly purchase those things because that would give us a hell of a lot more fighting power, especially with a runner-esque character. Where to? To Shell 4, if you would please. I believe this guy over here actually had claw ties. Or at least, uh, knives. He, he had something, okay? Can I interest you in anything? Why, yes. Core knives. He has power knives. I want core knives, please. So we now have... I think just about everybody. I think we're only missing one person. And me, honestly, I I only know of that person just because I've actually looked at stuff. Like, I've never actually played far enough to get that person, but I believe he is the last one. I'm trying to think. Yeah, because the uh, inn is getting pretty full now. I'm not sure if Grub is still back in the village down there, if we actually took him with us. But let's check. Quickly. If we go here... Uh... Well, Selena would take up this spot. Grub would take up this spot. So yes, we are only missing one character. Kind of amazing when you think about it. When we only had Maya at the beginning. Let us go up to the shops up over yonder. I forget what you have. I think it might be just kind of useless. Hello, take your time. Uh, no, no, you um actually have exactly what we need. Uh, let's see, ancient skins will give you much better armor. War skins will give you the same armor but reduce your speed. So that's not too good. Claw ties. Claw skins or light ties. I'm gonna say light ties because that increases your speed quite a bit. And that is actually all of your equipment that you need. So let's see. That does not. Wait, does it change what he looks like? No. That's rather depressing. Neither do those. They didn't work too hard on Badu. His knives change differently, though. Honestly, the previous knives looked more threatening because though the previous knives look like giant swords, and they're all fancy. These just—they kind of look like they're made out of rock. Be honest. They look like they're made out of rock. Hello. Take your time. And you, I believe you sell... Yes, uh, glove. Gloves adds power. Is Do you have anything that adds speed? I mean, although putting more 
power on him would be nice. I would ideally like something that increases their speed, but oh well. Can't have everything. Come on, guys, get out of the way. And now we'll leave. I don't feel like taking the time to sell that stuff right now. It's not like we need the money. You know, I had a thought. I didn't actually check. I did not actually check the um, village to see if there was a shop in there or not. I was like, well, I mean, we have to go to the other zones, and those don't take too long, but watch there be a shop in there. <laughs> and I just went over into Shell 4 immediately because Do I knew that that stuff was there. Where you want to go then? I'm almost guaranteeing there's a shop there now because that'll be my luck. Let's go back to the village and actually explore before we continue. Come on, guys. Uh, there's some writing there. I want to check around the village first. Hi, Grub. Bye, Grub. I thought I was not Okay. <laughs> it's exactly what I'd say. But no, there was not a shop here. Thank you. There's just villagers walking around. What is this a carving of? It looks like the creature that protected Gamma's fortress. Hell God! Unleashed by outlanders years ago. The Ankarans in Janam? Yes. They dig too deep. Hell got come from womb of core and destroy all. Destroy village. We move here. Claw of God still in old village. Hell God live in lava. Can stand much heat. Beware. Where is this old village? In mold forest. You no go. Deep forest is poison to outlanders. Need helmets. You mean gas masks? So... Now, I kind of think that maybe that's the thing that was beneath us, or beneath the village that was making that noise, because it has claws. It had claws, and it could stand a hell of a lot of heat. But that carving is not anything like it, so not exactly entirely sure. But now we actually get to see how Badu handles in combat. I wish I did not actually just run into those because those are annoying. As you can see, Badu charges fairly slowly. But it is worth it. Actually, you know what? You know what, you stupid crabs? Although, we did just do 9 damage. You know what? I changed my mind. I was going to say we can run away, but these things don't actually don't actually seem as threatening now that we've leveled or at least Aram is leveled up and he does fair bit of damage. What you got for us, Badu? Twelve damage. To one of these things. That is nothing to scoff at. Whoa, that is something to that is not something to scoff at either. really wish there wasn't two of them, though. However, with how much damage we've done, that should finish him off. Yes! We did ten damage this time. And Maya will be able to shoot in a moment. He also doesn't seem to take a whole lot of damage, although I'm not sure how much damage these things actually do to other people who are not Badu. I kind of forget. We could we could find out now. No, he does. He seems to take the regular amount of damage. Never mind. Come on, you just did ten damage to the other one. Now he does have core knife, which one can only assume will use core. But as it's only a level one, I can also only assume that it is. 
probably a spell to do more damage for less charge time. That is the only logical thing I can think of for that. But now we actually get to see how much damage Badu does to a regular character instead of a cr armored crab. Yes, we actually need to go through this place again. Don't worry. Once we get to the Mold Forest, we get to go to those ruins. And then, besides going to the village, I don't think we need to go through the Mold Forest ever again. I will have Maya finish that one off. Is it overkill? Yes. But we also get to see Badu. How much damage do you do to regular character? 137. That is not too bad. I'll admit, in how long your charge time is, it could be better. Oh, oh yeah, there's a single bug here. Shoot it if you don't kill it, Maya will. My god. Go away. Nobody likes you, stupid wasp. Now, let's see. We need to go around. Actually, you know, I think we can just exit in the north. Which I believe that means we don't have a whole lot to fight, because we don't need to go there. And there might be a nest? Uh, hello? What are we doing? What are we what doing? What is it? What is it, boy? Did Timmy fall down a well? He must have been able to sense the ore in the wall. Okay then. What? What? Th there's ore in the wall. What is it? This stuff looks valuable, but I'd have to dig it out if I wanted any. I killed many a man so that my country could mine this stuff. Hardly seems worth it now. You don't want any of it? I didn't say that. Doric ore is worth a ton on the black market. Hey, there was ore. He seems to recognize the ore. I'll bet his people have been working with it for hundreds of years. So, the ore, that is a little bit of ore. That one can only assume we will come back and get some in the future. Considering you cut the thing out. But, I would also like to go up here once again, because we should have more conversation options with the crazy old man. Uh, yes, yes we do. Do you know anything about the Hell God? We dug one up. The damn thing came right out of the lava of the earth. I don't know about you, but I don't want to tangle with a critter that can live in lava. <laughs> I don't think a whole lot of people do. Is there a way through the ruins in the Mold Forest? The old Underlost ruins. They can only be passed by the blue freaks of the Bone Circle Village. They made them in the first place. Speaking of one of those blue freaks... Well done, girl. You set them free. <laughs> Not sure how exactly we set them free, but that works. But now we get to go back to the mold forest. Yay! Woo. I'm sure everybody was looking forward to that. Alright, what do we got? We need to go to that door, so we need to go th through the northern side, not going through those, though. I have combated things in here at least once. I am going through the rule that if you kill it once, you don't need to kill it again. It is a rule I made up myself, but it is a rule nonetheless. So that, me that means I've leveled up, gotten more than enough experience to actually continue on. Because we have. Story to advance. Come on, Badu. Well, that was pretty slick. I wonder what else that radar power could be good for. Maya, um... I don't think that's what radar is. <laughs> uh, but now we are in the upper level of the Mold Forest. 
which means there's even more stuff to fight. Goody, goody, gumdrops. It is, however, a much more straight path. There is also one of these albino bugs. And, of course, Aram does not take the goods. Ah, that, that thing can charge? Well, get rid of it, please. Actually, Maya will help you. That thing just do 18... T is this thing armored to... It just did... It charged, attacked, and then did zero damage. That thing definitely appears to have some form of major armor on it. So, Badu, go kill it, will ya? Apparently it doesn't have a whole lot of health, at least. That's always nice. Aram, shoot it in the face. Maya should be able to finish it off. The answer is... Yes. It is quite dead. Now, map. There is a little... side area here that has nothing in it. Saw a few of these on the map, so I'm going to keep checking the map to make sure I don't pass them. Uh, nothing over here. And the answer for over here is... There is actually loot! At least they did one. A C prism? Is that an item? No. Be something to equip. Well, yeah, I had a power... Not not that he'd need a power token. C prism! Protects from water-based damage. Not useful in the slightest. It might be if we were fighting water-based creatures, but guess what game we're not. Alright. Let's continue on. Let's actually go the correct direction instead of going into... Not even really anywhere to go, it's just kind of a little bit of a dead end. A little nook. But Aram has actually lined himself up. I'm proud of you. You're actually learning tactics. Considering you were in the army, I would figure you would have known these already. But, you know. Oh god, that thing's actually charging. Aram. Do that, please. Maya, finish off the bug, because the bug is more annoying than the spore pod. And then Badu will just do his level 2 attack. Which was plenty. Ow. Is that really necessary? Because I don't think... I don't think that was necessary either, Aram. Again, how do you miss an immobile object with a giant arm cannon? You're literally shooting your arm as a cannon. How do you miss? <laughs> Alright, there's two ways to go, so I'm going to go down both of them to see if there is any loot down them or any you know, one-time spawn monster, or really just there, there, there could even be one of those uh, little pink birds that need some food. Uh, what else is with you? There is a spider with you. That is a okay. I don't think Aram's going to line up well enough. Actually, I lied. Aram lined up well enough. Granted, he lined up well enough to hit the two armored ones. Oh goody, they can apparently steal health, and not a small amount, either. Aram, shoot them. Yeah, full attack from Aram, they can steal more health than that. That is not good. Stupid 
you, you know what, Badu? Just counterattack. Apparently, your counterattack was not powerful enough. You should try harder. That thing is charging again. Shoot it, if you will. Still not dead. Badu, kill that. 41 damage for your level 1 attack. Sheesh. Oh, you failure at life. Why did you find that necessary? Quit stealing health! You're annoying enough to kill without having life steal. If these things weren't armored, they'd be much easier. See, that's okay. Especially okay because it only did six damage. I'll have Badu do his level two attack. Hopefully that's enough. Or apparently Badu doesn't even hit. I'm kind of curious as to what their charging is. Because it doesn't seem to have a thing on the back end of it. It's just like, oh, I'm charging. It doesn't actually seem to have any form of uh, damage attack, like increased damage attached to it. Uh, yeah, let's have Badu do a level two. Oh, he's dead. It's a good thing I had Badu do a level two. He probably would have stolen more life. Now we need to use a whole lot of bread. That's good. Alright, we're here. But I'm still going to go down this side just to see if there is anything of note. Watch this be the safer side and there not be any enemy spawns here. It is actually legitimately the safer side and there's no enemy spawns on the upper end. Well, dang. Badu, quit whizzing out over there. All we need to do is get to the end. And we are apparently greeted by more monsters at the end. So let's... Let's just kill these just for the sake of getting rid of them. And... Aram can actually hit multiple characters as well. So Maya will shoot this, just to weaken it, so that way Aram can one-shot it. So many spores. Oh, and acid. Can't forget the acid. Spore thing should be dead. You actually did enough damage to have one-shot it yourself. Well poopy. And that thing stole the... stole life of the damage that we just did. Ah. You attack that thing. Very much like that. Dead as a doornail. Now, uh, uh, Aram, could you and Maya possibly switch places? Because that would be really nice right now. There's one thing I really wish they actually put in here, is that they, you could, like, spend someone's turn to have them switch places. No, not dead yet. Uh, Maya, would you kill that before it fully charges? Thank you. This should be it. Or not. It just it just decides to charge instead. Okay, it's really gonna be nearly dead. There we go. Now that is it. Was there anything over here? No, of course not. That would be too easy. So let's go over here. And it looks like we've probably found the chosen area. <laughs> Areas are much too squared off to actually not be. 
especially since it looks like a mining operation. There we go. We are now at the chosen mining operation, which I feel is a good place to stop because we've actually done a fair bit in this episode, which I spent the Grant and I spent the previous couple episodes setting up, but we still actually compl <laughs> did a fair bit of progress. So when we come back, we are at the chosen mining operation. Boy, oh boy. I'm sure you guys are eager to go and fight more chosen with their, uh, gr gr pretty much grafted on spiky armor. I mean, sheesh. I feel like most of the armor of a chosen soldier is put in the pauldrons. Not, you know, actual body armor to protect them or anything, just, you know, the shoulders, because... reasons. But that, but that is for next time. When we come back, chosen mining operation. And we also have one of the Underlost with us who can't speak a word of English. It's two characters now who can't speak anything. Uh, with us for next time. Till then, see you later.